Hi, my name, my name is Christian Hummer. I'm working for Oracle Labs in, in Zurich. I'm part of the VM Research Group and I work on the Graal ecosystem. And I demo today the, the Graal VM multi language shell. It's our shell that contains multiple languages in one, one VM. Uh, so uh, we, we start off uh, by, by uh, entering our timing function in our performance demo here. And in our, the, the arguments are lazily evaluated. So in this case, the, the x parameter is evaluated between the time function. So the time is taken at this particular point. So we, we set this, our, our timing function um, to the name time. And then we create some data. Uh, we, let's create one gigabyte of, around, around one gigabyte of, of, of double values in, in this vector here of random double values. And then let's sum this uh, one gigabyte of double values up and it runs in around 130 milliseconds. This is approximately the same performance that Java has and also approximately the same performance that you get with C if you implement the same function. But uh, um, if we define the same function now with, with R directly, uh, then the GNU R interpreter, when executing this function, uh, would actually take 60 seconds and our interpreter runs the same code in three seconds, but after a while, the system figures out that this code is actually important and will just in time compile it, and then it runs, it runs uh, in 200 milliseconds. But we are not yet satisfied, so uh, we want to be, beat the 130 milliseconds that we have seen in, in, in the normal sum case. So let's switch to Ruby and define our, uh, the add function in Ruby, because the Ruby add semantics are actually a little bit simpler than the, the R add semantics, so Ruby add is a little bit uh, faster. So uh, now we, we export the Ruby add function, and then we switch back to R and we redefine our sum function, now we are importing the, um, the Ruby add uh, from, from the Ruby system, and then we use in the loop the Ruby add instead of the normal addition in R. So if we run this again, uh, it takes around the same time in the interpreter, but as, as before, after a while, um, uh, the code gets uh, just in time compiled, and it all runs now in 170 milliseconds. So we're still not done yet. So we want to reach 130, 140 milliseconds. So we so we switch uh, to JavaScript and I find the whole function on JavaScript. Uh, and then we export the same sum function in Java, uh, uh, from JavaScript, switch back to our import the JavaScript function again. And now what we do is we call directly the JavaScript function with the R vector. So the interesting part is the JavaScript implementation is actually not know what to do with this vector. So for the JavaScript implementation, this V vector is just a foreign object. So, but since we are querying the length here from the, the, the foreign object, uh, it will ask the object how can I receive the length from, from you, and it will insert the EST nodes at the proper places. So this, ex this function will actually end up being a, a JavaScript function together with some R elements mixed up. So if we run this function, it's actually faster in the interpreter already because JavaScript has less abstractions to remove like R. But after a while, we again get compiled down and we are now at the 130, 140 milliseconds that we had before in the Java on C, part, C performance. That's it.